So I had a request to do a review on, bam, the G34, which is this long boy right here. And uh, we're just gonna go over it real quick. Let's take a look at it. There it is. This is a uh, OD Green. Um, check, nothing's in there. in there but uh okay the frame is a polymer 80 pf 940 v2 in od green and uh, the stippling i custom did the stippling myself because uh the texture was uh, kind of different and i did the full wrap around uh left no gaps like right here and stuff so I did the uh, full dot matrix um, stippling right here too, on both sides. And it feels good, it's not rough, it's not light. Uh, I mean, the original uh, stippling drip texture um, is pretty good too, but I just like uh, the dot uh, better. Um, here's the... Here's the uh, the same frame, but just black with the uh, original stippling, right? See how they got this little gap in between. Um, I just filled it in and did the dot, and then added it, added the dot onto the uh, sides right here. Um, this is a 17 slide, but the frame. You could put a 17 or a 34 um, slide on it and see it's exactly the same length, width, and uh, the undercuts right here. And yeah, so this is considered the 17. This is because of the slide and this is considered a G34 because of the slide. Um, let's see. We'll take, we'll take uh, these two apart. And uh, see, as you can see, it's just the slide that makes it different. All the internals, they're all the same, unless you go with like, the different spring tensions right in your weapons and then the different trigger shoe the trigger shoe which is uh this is right here this is the apex on the g34 uh, this is the standard curve glock oem style 
uh, trigger shoe, but everything else is identical. The housing, the locking block, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. See, 17, it still fits this slide. black on OD green and then the 17 on here but this slide is a nine what is it nine by 19 that's the company um, and then with the ZP barrel ZP go barrel ZP Go barrel for the 34. Um, they both feel really good. Just uh, when you pull the trigger, of course, that is different. Um, let's get back to this boy. So um, we have. Like I said, the Apex trigger, competition trigger, um, flat face, nothing pretty fancy about it. I mean, uh, just the uh, design. Um, gold pins, which I got from eBay. Um, gold mat, oh wait, well this is the slide lock, slide release button. Um, and I don't really like this extended version because it actually do get in the way. Uh, that's the damn, uh, what is that, dishwasher? Um, it does get in the way. I usually run Vickers Tactical, uh, but Vickers Tactical does not have any colored um, components. So I went with this gold one. Um, and then the gold tyrant design mag release button, the extended version, which you can see it sticks out and uh, it gives you a good, you know, little tap and then it'll just pop out. Uh, let's put a blank mag. And see, I'm kind of nudging it, but it's not coming out, but when I really do push it, out. Really beautiful. Uh, oh, Tyrant Designs T Comp. This one's in tin gold and then the black housing. It's two piece. So the comp goes onto the barrel and then the housing stabilizes it. And uh, you could turn it any way you want. And I keep it, you know, straight like this where the uh, you put your wrench through right here I, that's just me and uh, you could actually there's no set torque or specific turn you could just turn it and turn it but this comp is is amazing it works it does its job and uh, we got the ZP Zafiri Precision G34 slide this is the ZPS.2 um, in OD green and this these are talon grips that I put on here just for better uh, racking purposes to grip it when I rack it. Uh, ZP back plate, tin gold. Uh, I got the tin gold, what is this called? The extractor. And then the Zafiri Precision spiral threaded barrel for the G34, right, to match the G34 slide. And then I have a stainless steel guide rod which sits flush with the uh, slide and is it flush with the uh, lower frame? Uh, no, the lower frame is over here. But uh, this guide rod, it actually stabilizes the comp uh, and, and keeps the muzzle from like rising you'll see it right here when so it push the guide rod pushes forward 
uh, when the slide racks, racks back and uh, keeps the uh, comp straight. You'll see, I don't know if y'all can see this, but here, let me do it slow. So see, the barrel doesn't lift up. Like in most guns, it lifts, it, it lifts up. But this right here, this guide rod, um, keeps it straight. Uh, let me show you on this one. You'll see the barrel lift up. Wait, no. Yeah. It actually lifts up a little. I don't know if y'all can see that. That's not a good... Uh... Oh, wait, it, it doesn't have a comp on it. Let me show you with one that has a comp. Right, this is a thing there. See, you can see it lifting up a little bit. Yeah, that's the gold uh, guide rod that I had in here, which it didn't go all the way to the comp. So I switched it out for a longer one. This is the 10 mil though. Another review on that one later. Um, but where was I? So, I went with OD green, black, and gold accents. Uh, Ameriglow suppressor, height sights which never is going to be used. Um, it just looks good on it. It's blacked out on the back and then tritium in the very center and the uh, circle is the yellow. Um, Trigigon is the 1MOA SRO. That's pretty much it. Uh, tin gold safety plunger. I think this is what it's called. This piece right here, uh, which the trigger, uh, this thing bumps into. Um, the firing pin is tin gold. It doesn't really make a difference. The only thing that makes an actual difference is the the guide rod with the spring. That this spring is tuned and cut to my specific uh, way or the grain that I shoot. So this is uh, I, I don't know the actual pounds, but it's less than a ten pound. Um, that's just my preference. This is non-captured, as you can see there's no uh, hole right here. Um, so I could change springs anytime. I could put a standard 17 pound spring, 18, 22 pound, so on and so on. Um, yeah, that was, this is just a quick review of the G34 OD Green that I had a request to do on. Oh, and Steel City Arsenal uh, Flared Magwell. This one is stainless steel. Well, not stainless steel, it's aluminum. Because uh, some, some companies that I know, that I've tried out, they have polymer slash plastic flared magwells. <clears throat> no names. But, uh, and those broke, and then I found uh, Steel City Arsenal, which is uh, durable. As you can see, it's been banged up. I've uh, used this to break windows and glass and stuff. You know, blah. like blah. shit like that. But uh, the magazine is a ETS Group magazine uh, for G17 and then uh, G17. G G34 uh, with the Strike Industries EMP base pad, base plate, or whatever the fuck it's called. This is a plus three or plus five, I don't remember. Um, but this is how it looks with, wait, wait, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Two, four, six, only 16 rounds, okay. But uh, it's like a 22 round mag when it's fully loaded fully loaded but uh 
um, these, these, I don't carry these on my uh, conceal, everyday conceal, everyday carry. Um, these are just range rounds. Uh, my carry is a uh, G43 and a, what is that? G33, I think, or 31, G31 is a 357 SIG. That's my actual carry gun. Uh, this is just for range only and I use these mags um, so yeah that's pretty much it and my review my final review on this gun is uh, I love it I mean I've shot over 10,000 rounds through this pistol and uh, of course through the uh, 10,000 rounds, you know, there was malfunctions and uh, and a lot of uh, hiccups and just failure to feeds and stuff until I actually started tuning it correctly and uh, with the prop, well, I wouldn't say proper ammo because I shot all kinds of grains uh, 90 grain, 115, 124, 147. I've shot weird grains through this G34 and uh, started reloading my own and then running uh, weird rounds through it and just putting it to work, right? And then that's when you figure out what you need to do with it, what you don't need to do with it and just keep it like that. So I kept it like that and this is what I got and I'm not gonna tune it any more, tune it any less or add to it or subtract from it I mean it's pretty much my range pistol slash competition shooter uh, and it's good thanks for uh, watching this and uh, checking out my G34 in OD Green. So uh, let me know in the comments uh, what else did I miss or whatever and what, what next you wanna see. Um, I got this one. I think this one's actually loaded. Nope. But I got the X2 hollow sun on a G19 but uh, let me know if y'all want to see a review of that and how I got it sitting on here